Hello everyone. <clears throat> this is in continuation to uh, linear programming problem topic. The next, what we are going to see is unbounded solution. This is another special case of solution in a linear programming problem. We'll understand this unbounded solution through this example. Solve the following linear programming problem graphically. Maximize z equal to 12 times x1 plus 25 times x2 subject to 12x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to 36, 15x1 minus 5x2 less than or equal to 30, x1 and x2 greater than or equal to 0. <coughs> so first let us convert the inequations to equations. Let L1 be 12 times x1 plus 3 times x2 which is equal to 36. Call it as equation 1. Let L2 be 15 times x1 minus 5 times x2 equal to 30. Let us find the coordinates for drawing lines. Let us consider L1 first. If I consider x1 as 0, the first term will become 0. So 3x2 equal to 36 means x2 will become 12. Now putting x2 as 0, the second term will become 0. 12x1 equal to 36 means x1 will become 3. So the coordinates of L1 will be 0, 12, 3, comma, 0. Now L2 Putting the first, uh, sorry, x1 as 0, what will happen? This will become negative 5x2 equal to 30, which means x2 will become negative 6. But remember our uh, non-negativity restrictions. That says that this particular coordinate cannot be a valid coordinate. So I will put it as not applicable. Now let me increase the x1 value. If I put x1 as 1, what will happen? This will become 15. If I take this 15 to the other side, it will become 30 minus 15. 30 minus 15 is 15. That means negative 5 x2 equal to 15 means x2 will become minus 3. This is also giving me a uh, invalid coordinates. I will have to say not applicable. Further increase the number for x2 to 2, uh, this will become 30. 30 and 30 gets cancelled. That means negative 5 x2 equal to 0 means x2 will be 0. This is a valid coordinate. I can consider this. Further increase to next 3. This will become 15 into 3, 45. Bring this 30 this side. It will become 45 minus 30, 15. Take this 5x2 to the other side, it will become positive 5x2. So uh, 45x, uh, 45 is equal to, I'm sorry, uh, 45 minus 30, it becomes 15. So 15 is equal to 5x2 means x2 will be 3. This is also a valid coordinate. Now that we got two coordinates, we can draw the graph. So let me draw the graph now. Uh, highest value for x1 is 3 and highest value of x2 is 12. This I'll make it x1 axis. I'll make it a little shorter because we need up to three only. This is x1 axis. This is x2 axis. x1 we need up to three. Let me say this is one. This one two. This one we'll make it three. Yeah, 
टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन एंड ट्वेल्व आई नीड अप टू ट्वेल्व ओनली बट लेट मी डिफाइन हियर एक्स वन एक्सिस वी कंसिडर्ड वन सेंटीमीटर एस वन यूनिट वेर एस इन एक्स टू एक्सिस वी कंसिडर्ड वन सेंटीमीटर एस टू यूनिट्स now let us draw the coordinates for l1 first we will draw uh, x1 is 0 x2 is 12 point will be here then second coordinate x1 is 3 x2 is 0 x2 is 0 x1 is 3 point is here let me draw these two this is our line 1 let me call this as line 1 okay now line 2 and line 1 you may notice it is having a greater than or equality symbol means the shading has to happen above this right line 2 is having opposite less than or equal to that means whatever line we draw it we have to draw it towards its left or down down the line right okay now line 2 uh, coordinates valid coordinates are 2 comma 0 means x1 is 2 x2 is 0 point will be here then 3 comma 3 so here 3 will come in between 2 and 4 3 comma 3 means somewhere it has to come here this is our 3 comma 3 let me join these two points this line is a never ending line so i'll have to put an arrow mark and uh, the second constraint is having less than or equality symbol that means i should shade it towards the left of it so that means for this line shading will happen like this for this line shading will happen like this so the common region will be here this this cone shaped area will be the common region and we may note this actually goes to infinity goes to infinity it's not a closed polygon it is open from the top okay now let me put this one is a this one as b this one as c and somewhere here t a b c d is the common feasible region common feasible region means any point in that region will satisfy both these constraints means if i take any point substitute the value to both these constraints it should satisfy common feasible region okay now what is a a you may notice it is x1 as 0 x2 is 12 what is b b is the intersection of this is line 2 line 1 and line 2 what is c c is actually going i mean i can say it is never ending so i can say that as infinity comma infinity even d is also infinity comma infinity because d is somewhere here somewhere unknown i simply put it but it is actually unknown 
Now, let us find out what is B point B. How do we find point B? By solving these two equations, one and two. One thing we may notice, if I multiply the first equation by five, this will become positive 15. If I multiply second equation by three, it will become negative 15. So let us do that. One into five, we get 12 into five, 60, x1, and then plus 15 x2 is equal to 5 into 36. 6 fives are 33, 5 threes are 15, 180. Okay, now second equation, let's multiply it by 3. What will happen? 15 into 3, 45 times x1. Then minus 15 times x2 equal to 3 into 30, it is 90. Now I can add these two. Let me call this as equation 3. This is equation 4. I am doing 3 plus 4. If I do that, this will become 105 times x1. These two will get cancelled. This will become 270, which means our x1 is 270 by 105. How much that is? Let me simplify that. It becomes 54. And uh, 21 further can be simplified. This is 18 and this is 7. So we get 18 by 7. Now let us find out x2. Uh, let me substitute that in first equation. 60 times 18 by 7 plus 15 times x2 equal to, I think, uh, let me use first equation, which is 12x1, sorry. Twelve x one plus three x two. Twelve x one plus three times x two equal to thirty six. Means twelve into eighteen. We get two hundred and sixteen by seven plus three x2 equal to 36 or 3x1 equal to 36 minus 216 by 7 that will be what 252 minus 216 by 7 is our 3x2 which means x2 is 252 minus 216, we get 36 by 21. Three sevens are three twelves are. So that means our point B is 18 by 7, comma 12 by 7. So now we got all the points. Let us calculate the corresponding Z values. Means basically these are the corner points. These are the corner points of the feasible region. Okay. Now, Z of A is what? What is Z? Z is the one which is initially given 12 times X1 plus 25 times X2. 12 times X1 plus 25 times X2. Now, let us substitute what is that 0 and 12? 0 and 12. So what is 25 times 12? We get 300. Z of B is 12 times 
18 by 7 plus 25 times 12 by 7. What do we get? 12 into 18, 216. 25 into 12, we get 300 by 7. We get 516 by 7. Z of C, both are infinity, infinity. So the final answer will be infinity only. Even the same will be for DZ also. That means our objective is to find out the maximum Z value. Maximum Z value works out to be infinity. Infinity means the solution is unbounded. It can be anything. It can be maximized to any maximum number. Since, let me write conclusion. Since the max Z value is infinity, the solution for this problem, solution for this problem is unbounded. There is no boundary for it. It can go up to infinity. So, I mean, we cannot specifically find out a solution for this because it is unbounded. That is the meaning of unbounded solution. So, in case if you find the contents of this problem to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.